know what the number one enemy to you becoming great is? When I ask this question in a live training, I get people saying that it's the market conditions, their family, their lack of support, their financial limitations. They find a thousand and one reasons as to why they think something is stopping them from being great. Notice I said they think something is stopping them because the reality couldn't be further away from the truth. All those excuses are smoke screens for the number one reason that holds people back from ever becoming great. And I'll share it with you with the hope that you become great. The greatest enemy you could ever have that will stop you from being great is being normal, being ordinary, being good, being comfortable. The biggest enemy of your greatness is comfort. The biggest enemy to your greatness is in essence, you. When I coach my clients one-on-one, -on -one, I sometimes find myself having to challenge them mentally for them to actually realize that they are blocking themselves from taking their lives to the next level. Their results are good, but it can be great if only they get out of their own way. Now I can imagine you might be sad about the fact that you are your worst enemy, but don't be upset. Now that you're aware, there is a bright side to things. If you being comfortable is the reason you're not great, and if you are in the way of you, then all you have to do is get out of your own way. Most people are so used to just making it by, just getting enough to make the week. They look for the person who is good right now. Don't settle for good. Good is second class. You deserve to be great. You deserve to be a first class citizen. Good is the enemy of great. It's a lot easier to be good. You will get a good paycheck at the end of the week. You'll have your bosses happy with you. You'll be able to make it to watch your favorite TV shows and you'll be liked by many because you won't stand out. But you will go through life frustrated with yourself with nothing to show for it at the end of it all. Great, on the other hand, will require you to stand out from everyone, be talked about by people, be ridiculed by the ignorant ones, put strain on the relationships you had with people who are around you but don't have the vision or desire to get what you want. To be great is a road traveled by very few people. The few that are the winners. They are known for the mark they leave behind. The mark of greatness. They lead a life of distinction when they are alive. And when they are gone, they leave their legacy for years to come. Will you choose to remain good or will you choose to be great? Which path are you on? The path that leads to a good life or the one that leads to a great life. I suggest that if you're going to travel a path, you might as well travel on the one that will bring you to greatness. If you're going to choose, choose to be great. Only then will you experience great things. It starts with a decision, one that you can make right now, and then begin by taking action on that decision.